Smith shoved out of bounds by Zach Bronson at the 14 yard line. Well, this play was bottled up where it was supposed to go, Sam, and that was right over the guard. But watch what happens on the blocking outside. Everybody stays with it, but watch the block. 81, Rocket Ismail is going to come down inside here, and he's going to end up sealing the wall for Emmett Smith. Here he is right here. I'm sorry. He comes outside. Now watch him get a block in there, and he seals that whole thing up enough that it springs that corner for him. Now, he was just a kind of a decoy in that play, but he stayed. To the sideline, and it's caught. Was it inbounds? Yes. A heck of a it's will the catch. That was a heck Rocket of a throw. Ismail stayed inbounds. Good throw by Quincy Carter. And the Cowboys with a first and goal at the five-yard line. Watch, he throws this right over the defender, right over top of the defender, and only where Rocket could make the grab. And from his path, see where his path is? Ooh, his, his, from his view. Did he get both feet in? Let's see if for possession. Look for possession. Possession one. one. No. Let's see. Nope. There's no challenge. Play is run. Emmett Smith is stopped short of the line of scrimmage. They have lost a yard on the play. Bryant Young yeah, they missed penetrates. That one. They, they missed that one. Let's see. They're saying possession. Now what now see there's the right foot, but what we don't see is the right foot when we, when he has possession. When he first got it? Yeah. Okay. And see that's that that's really a judgment call by the, 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 the side judge and the field judge on whether or not they have possession. I think Steve Mariucci was looking up thinking he never got a chance to see it. There's timeout on the field with Dallas at the 49ers six. Boys with a third and two at the 49ers six yard line. Galloway and Ismail go to the left. Michael Wiley is in the backfield. Three wide receivers in for Dallas. Carter being blitzed. Got rid of it. Caught by Michael Wiley, and he dives forward for a first down. Good effort by Michael Wiley. And how about Carter getting rid of that ball under big pressure? Well, the pressure is in his face. This is a little, little turn hot 60 whip pass, and they get it. At, they're bringing everything over to this side. He drops back, and there's a little play action off of that, and the fullback and tailback come underneath to that side, and he tries to seek one of them out, depending upon who the linebacker picks up. First and goal for Dallas at the three-yard line. Emmett Smith is in with a fullback, Troy Hambrick. The play fake. Carter throwing. For Jackie Harris, he overthrew him. And, and that fade pass has been away from them all season long. They can't get the fade to the corner. One of the great goal line stands was performed by the 49ers last week. Seven plays run inside the 10. Six of them inside the two and three inside the one. And then an interception by Derek Smith. It was 6-3 at the time. 49ers went on to win it 13 to 3. A great goal line effort. Play fake. Carter's got it. Running for the corner. And he dives. He That's comes good. up. That's good. He's in. He is in. Touchdown. Andre Carter tackled him. Quincy Carter dove across the goal line. Andre Carter had him wrapped up, but it was the extension of the ball, which Quincy Carter did, that crossed the plane before his body hit the ground. That made that thing a touchdown, Sam. Good effort by Quincy Carter. He's having himself quite a game. As we see, so saw back no, and no, forth. They're going to challenge well, it. Take a look. Yes. Yeah. Mariucci ran, all, ran all, all the way, way down, down the sideline. He ran all the way down the sidelines to throw that flag at the referee. He wanted to make sure. He actually threw it at the line judge. The runner did not get into the end zone. Take a look at the extension of the ball before his knee hits. You know what? 
I think he might have. Uh, he may come up a little short here. Let's see. Look at the. It's the front. All you have to do is get that ball at the front of the plane. Is he down? He's not down oh, here. He's right down there. Ooh. Wow. That's a heck of a shot. And the you camera know what? Guys. And again, it has to be indisputable visual evidence to overturn the ruling on the field. And the ruling on the field was touchdown. So that's really close. I don't know if you can overturn that close a call. The front of the, uh, the ball, all you have to do is hit the front of that white line. Doesn't have to cross it, doesn't have to break it. If it touches the front of this white line before he's down. Is he down there? Is he down there, Bill? Well. Right there, there's a little space. And there was, that was Steve Mariucci running down to throw the field, making sure they knew that he wanted a challenge. I'd have to say he's down. Let's take a look at this angle. That's tough to tell from that angle. Mm, it, yeah, I, 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 I'd have to say he's down, Sam. Right there, that looks like there's some space. Ron Blum is checking it out. See the numbers on Steve Mariucci's challenges since 1999. <laughs> Waiting word. One thing that looks certain, the Rams have a huge lead on Indianapolis in St. Louis, 35-14. It looks like the Rams will clinch the NFC West. So the 49ers need a win for a After home field playoff. The, play, the quarterback's elbow was on the ground. The ball was about at the half yard line. It'll be second down at the half yard line. The elbow was down. So it is oh, not a touchdown. No, I, no, I, I believe that's the third down. It's not. I don't think that's second down. Sam. I think it's third. That was the third down play. They're trying to give him an extra down too. There's the elbow down. Right. All right. Well, they, they, they got, they, they got the markers down. on the field say yeah. third down, so the the markers They're on right the field on got it correct. Yeah. It is third down, a half yard away, less than a half yard. Looks like to be about a foot. Michael Wiley and Darren Shaverini are in. Three wide receivers. Jackie Harris tight end to the right. Quarterback keeper. Carter. Didn't get oh, in. Got it. Did not get. No, oh, they signal touchdown. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Will we have another challenge? Yeah, this one may be. This one may come from. Look, look. That Mariucci's looking. He's out on the field again. He's looking for his flag. He's he's got his hand he's on the flag in his pocket. Challenge. He wants to know if he should what we do? challenge. He's talking to his players. And it doesn't look like there'll be a challenge. Play is off. The kick is good. The Cowboys. I, I, I don't know if he got that. I, here, take a look at the surge. Take a look if he crosses that plane. There he is. That's his furthest momentum, and I don't think he got it. That was tough to see. I can't see where the ball is. Touchdown for Quincy Carter. He barely made it. The officials ruled him in. And the Cowboys have regained the lead as we go back and forth. Mike Anor kicks off. Coming up short, Vinny Sutherland at the 18, drop it. Picks it up and runs. Gets outside. Knocked out of bounds. Up at the 46-yard line. Good return by Vinny Sutherland. Darren Woodson knocked him out. Well, take a look. There's Did he a, get in? There it is. He's got to cross the plane. I, I don't think the ball got there. Wow. It looks like he gets knocked right down there. And it was the, it was actually the head linesman that made that. Mark Baltz made that call. He's over here. And he signals his hands and he comes running in from that direction and signals touchdown. He only needed a foot. And they gave it to him. 49ers from the 47. Garrison Hurst gets up to midfield just across it. Garrison Hurst 
five carries, 18 yards in the first half. That win made the tackle for Dallas. Cowboys rushing defense outstanding this season. Their pass defense last in the league. I want to correct that. That's a mistake on my part. No, their pass defense has been excellent as well. The rush defense third, not as good. Third in the league. First. Wow. Hit Dexter by Coakley. Dexter Coakley. Dallas defense is fired up. Coakley has been real strong getting to the ball. Their rush defense has improved 849 yards better than last year through 14 games. 49ers have to get to the 43 of Dallas. Blitz coming. Oh, see it gets oh, rid of it oh, right oh, through the hands oh. of Terrell Owens. Oh my goodness. Garrison Hurst, first of all, with the blitz pickup. Secondly, Terrell Owens, I think he was just, he didn't like this run across the middle. He saw too many bodies in there. Darren Woodson was closing in on him. Also, the umpire was in front of him. There was just too many bodies in there. And Owens lost concentration on the ball, but the blitz pickup by Garrison Hurst was outstanding about that thing time. Reggie Swinton is back. Jason Baker for his second punt of the game. Big pressure. He got it away. Good kick. Swinton, fair catch at the 11 yard line. Cowboys came with a block attempt and just missed. We'll be right back. Going back to that play, you know, a couple things. Offensive minded coaches a lot of times just want to get their offense back on the field. That would have been another delay of game for their defense to go look at the replay. Emmett Smith. Reggie McGrew takes him down at the 15 yard line. Picked up four on the play. Go ahead, Bill. To go look at the replay. That would have been their third, third in inches. So, you know, they would have, could have had it. If they got it turned over, they could have had two more shots at it and got it in anyway. Mariucci probably just, after the first one, just said, you know what? Get it over with. Let's get, get our offense on the field. I'll save a challenge if I need one later on. Could be. In motion, Mike Lucky, the tight end. The play fake, Carter swings it out to Troy Hambrick. Big gainer for Hambrick. Zach Bronson hey, pulls him out. That's of a down. flag. That should be a flag. Easy, Bill. Are you okay. kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? 27 yard pickup. Bronson pulled him down. You hear the fans agreeing with you. Jeff Albrick ran all the way across the field, and once he did. He's out of bounds. Hambrick's out of bounds. Watch. He's out of bounds. And now he gets hit. Are you kidding me? And that's shown up on the out of bounds. screen. And the fans. Are you kidding me? No flag on the play. First and. No, but they'll throw one for uh, the tackling the quarterback. Come on. Emmett Smith. Gets a couple of yards up to the 44-yard line. Derek Smith making the tackle on Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith, 15 carries, 74 yards, averaging just under five yards per carry in the game. Was shaken up just for a brief moment in the first half, but he has had a strong effort. Came into the game 182 yards short of 1,000. Smith and Hambrick in the backfield. Quincy Carter being rushed. Pass is incomplete. Galloway slipped and fell down. And the pass went by. A little zone pressure right there. Confuse the offensive line a little bit. Make Quincy Carter read the secondary. You see a lot of that. The zone blitz concept, zone pressures, they mm -hmm. call it. It's a way to get pressure on the quarterback and confuse the offensive line a little bit and yet make the quarterback find the opening in the defense. And then that's what you want to do to a young guy. You know, you don't want to spend extra guys blitzing them and take them out of coverage. You just want to try to confuse them some. Out 
out of the shotgun. Wiley in the backfield. Three wide receivers. Quarterback draw. Carter slides to the 46-yard line. First down. Quincy Carter has really made plays in this game. And, 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 and unbelievable to me. But this is a design play, first of all. This is the design play. This is quarterback draw, and Wiley's leading it. But take a look once Quincy Carter goes down on the ground. He's down. And looks he like somebody came in late. Zach Bronson. Bronson, Bronson the helmet-to-helmet helmet yeah. helmet stuff. But the Cowboys, you saw the time of possession. They have done a great job controlling the football. Now from the 49 is 47. Carter going deep. Way down for Galloway. He's got it. Wow. Touchdown. He beat Rashad Holman. What a throw by Quincy Carter. It was an unbelievable throw. And of course, Ahmed Plummer usually plays there, but with this route, the way it was, man-to-man, -man, go route right on the outside. It doesn't matter who the corner was. Joey Galloway went and got that ball. 47-yard touchdown pass. Carter to Galloway. Big game for Joey Galloway. Six catches, 146 yards. Hilbert's kick is good. The Cowboys have a 10-point lead on the playoff-bound San Francisco 49ers. Little stutter go. And actually, some pretty good position. But the thing of it was the ball, the way the ball was thrown by Quinton Cardi, that was is outstanding. Galloway takes it in stride. Carter celebrates. Line of Super Bowl 36. By Visa, it's everywhere NFL fans want to be. By Circuit City, we know how you feel. That's why we're here. Circuit City, we're with you. And by Blackhawk Down at theaters everywhere January 18th. Quite a day for Quincy Carter. 14 for 22, 237 yards. First time a Dallas quarterback has thrown for over 200 yards this season. Two touchdown passes. First time he's done that. Sutherland from the eight. Is hit and brought down. Jason Bell with a stop. And Joey Galloway's had a huge game. Well, you know what? You've seen a lot of Joey Galloway. You've seen him in man-to-man -man coverage. And a lot of that has to do with Emmett Smith in the running game. I mean, they, they've just been hammering San Francisco. And so that's made San Francisco bring some of their safeties up. Lance Schulter's been up. Zach Bronson has been up. So that's leaving man-to-man -man on the outside. And then the Cowboys have been very selective on when they pick those matches. And when they pick them and they get them, They've been throwing deep. 49ers need a big comeback. They start from their own 27. Beasley in motion. Play fake. Outside to Terrell Owens. His second catch. Fights his way up toward the 35-yard line. George Teague brought him down. Sam, how about the Cowboys defense? You go back and you look at them and you think about them. Last week, they held David Boston to three catches. Yeah. Thus far, Terrell Owens, only two catches in this game. I mean, they, they've done a great job of of turning transforming this defense into a defense that plays very similar to the defense that the league is changing to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense third in the league in pass defense 14th against the run and second overall Garcia with time nobody open waiting rolling throwing and completes it to the tight end Eric Johnson up at the 45 yard line. It's a first down. What did he buy some time with his mobility time time kills a defensive back. I mean because as long as you've got those guys able to run around whether you're in zone or man the odds are against you especially if the quarterback is running free. If he's running without pressure on him or pressure in his face and can see the field time will kill a secondary. Garrison Hurst alone set back. Johnson in motion. It's Hurst, and he stopped. 49ers have only rushed for 41 yards in the game. And I, Sam, I really believe, I, I think a lot of that has to do with their run game. Unlike 
the Cowboys. You see the Cowboys, that big beef they have up front, and now they maul you and mash you, and they get things going. And the San Francisco's 49er run game is really comes off their ability to spread the ball around, to pass on you, to get the defense confused and on their heels and sitting back, and then they gouge you and they they spread you out and they hit you with one back and do different things. They've shut down their pass department, and for that reason, it's taken away the run. On second and 11, the play fake, Garcia wants to go long. For Ty Streets, it's broken up. Beautiful play by Dwan Hawthorne. He was right with Streets all the way. Sam, exactly what we're talking about. Now, this is a play-action pass. This is where you fake the run, but look. Nobody bites on the run. You have your linebackers dropping back into coverage. Nobody bites up inside. Everybody's matched up. And that's what happens when you try to run a play action pass and the defense has taken away the run from you. There, there's no, you don't have to bring the extra safety up. You don't have to get Darren Woodson involved down there. You can keep those guys back in coverage because there's no real threat of a run. Garcia, 15 for 21, 149 yards out of the shotgun. In trouble. Gets rid of it as he was going down. Well, it's a good thing he was that out of the pocket. And the middle linebacker was tripped him up. And Garcia, while he was airborne, threw it away incomplete. You know, I'm re really, really impressed with the job Mike Zimmer has done, along with the help from Dave Campo of, of this Cowboys defense. To me, that's been from we were down here week one when they played right. Tampa Bay. And from that moment on, they've really, they, they've set a level, they set a new standard, they raised the bar, and they matched it every single week. Jason Baker kicks it away. Good high kick. Swinton lets it bounce at the five. Uh-oh. It bounces to the goal line, and it's in the end zone for a touchback. 49ers. Trying to keep it in bounds, trying to pin the Cowboys deep. The ball bouncing right along the goal line. Brian Jennings just couldn't get there in time. Let's get right. right here on Fox. That's 11 p.m. Two tight ends for Dallas. They go from the 20-yard line. Two possessions in the second half, two touchdowns. Emmett Smith pushes his way through the hole. And breaks it open. Oh, ran into his own man. Goes down at the 41 yard line. Tackle. Another great run for Emmett. Tackled by Joey Galloway. That's, that's who he ran into. Watch the balance Emmett Smith keeps as he comes through the hole. He's got people all around him. He stumbles right there a little bit, regains his balance again, and then runs into Joey Galloway, who is downfield trying to get a block for him. In the past, the 49ers have done a good job. Today, 16 carries, 96 yards for Emmett Smith. From the 42. Here comes Emmett. Nothing developing, and he's tripped up. Andre Carter was there to break up the play. This is the kind of day Emmett Smith has had running the ball. Well, it's been the job of the guys up front. I mean, you know, you always, they always hear that and you always say that, but you know, that is the case. And, and when the Cowboys play well, historically, since the Cowboys of the 90s were the Cowboys of the 90s, it, it's been because of the things they were able to do up front with those big offensive linemen and getting Emmett Smith going and then off of that, the play action stuff downfield. Loss of two on the last play. Hambrick and Witherspoon in the backfield. Ismael in motion. Troy Hambrick. Good hold for him, and he runs hard up to midfield. Cowboys running the ball well. Troy Hambrick on the carry. Troy Hambrick. Cowboys feel he will be an excellent running back for them. Well, you know, the guy wants to run the ball. He, yeah. <laughs> he wants to be the starting tailback for the Dallas Cowboys. But, you know, he's really bitten the bullet on the whole thing and said, you know what, he, he's become friends with him. And as much as he believes that he's probably the better runner of the two right now with his youth and and size he has such great respect for Emmett Smith that he doesn't mind and who does it right he's a second year man out of Savannah State I think he can wait his turn that's my feeling and Emmett's still going strong oh, that's exactly what he's doing Carter throws and the catch is made along the sideline Emmett. first down Emmett Smith.
Carter has made place on third down, Bill. 10 for 13 on third down conversions. Good grab for Emmett Smith. With 94 yards rushing. He needs 87 for his 11th consecutive 1,000 yard season. 647 to catch Barry Sanders as the all time leading rusher in the NFL. Hambrick to the 40 yard line. Cowboys have really done a great job marching up and down the field, Bill. All day long. Their drive today, their scoring drives have been long. And again, if you go back and think of this drive, how it started, this one started out the 20 yard line. And they just mauled their way down the field. Heck, with those 87 yards to go to reach 1,000 for the season, we still got a whole quarter of football left to play. If they keep handing the ball off to Emmett Smith, it's quite possible he'll hit his 1,000 for the season today. 49er defense might be feeling the effects of it. Cowboys controlling the football and right now controlling the scoreboard. End of the third quarter. It's Dallas 24, San Francisco 14. Back after a message from your local Fox station. And the Fox crew, we wish you a happy new year as we welcome you back to Texas Stadium. Start of the fourth quarter. Dallas on the move again at the San Francisco 40. Emmett Smith. Pulls his way for five yards to the 35 yard line. And Emmett is close to 100 yards. He's now at 99. And I don't know how many people are surprised. I felt, Bill, coming in that Dallas would play well. They're, they're playing a great game. You know, I, we talked last night. I said, What do you think about this game? And I said, I, I really think it's going to be a close game, closer than people anticipate. Although San Francisco has rebuilt their defense, they're still young. And if you look at them, they're very, very light. Everywhere on the field, they're light. Their two biggest guys are Stubblefield and Bryant Young in the middle. And everywhere else, they're small. They can't match up with that offensive line. Emmett Smith straight ahead for another big gainer. He gets 10 more down to the 25-yard line. And another Dallas first down. Sam Rosen, you want to see complete domination? Watch Larry Allen. This is amazing. Run blocker extraordinaire. Driving Dana Stubblefield back off the line of scrimmage and opening up the hole for Emmett Smith. You talk about a man, a, a man of playing this game. He has to be the best run blocker in the league. He is. Emmett Smith, 109 yards, his fourth 100 yard game of the season is 74th of his career that's third all time behind Walter Payton and Barry Sanders Hambrick stopped at the line maybe a yard on the play and Emmett has gone over 19,000 combined yards in his career only the fourth player to ever reach that Walter Payton Jerry Rice Brian Mitchell Emmett Smith I mean, you talk about that that line game what this is just all the Cowboys have been doing is just driving the ball look at the body contact look at the play John Engelberg comes crashing down inside of the tight end to make the play but the contact the power is going on in that line of scrimmage how do you play that long taking a beating like that Emmett Smith durability is unbelievable Quincy Carter down on the 21 yard line Ninth play of the drive, which started at their own 20 yard line. Andre Carter made the tackle. A lot of runs up the middle. Yeah, up, up the middle and, and, and to the left. And everything is really right up the A gap, kind of. Right, right at the A gap. They're going at the at the defensive tackles for the San Francisco 49ers, but then everything's really behind Larry Allen. You have a banged up Kelvin Garman on, at right guard, and of course you start a rookie Sharon Dorsey at right tackle. It only makes sense. Have to get to the 15 for a first down. The toss to Michael Wiley. He'll get it. First down inside the 10. Out of bounds at the four yard line. Well, just as we were talking about running up the middle, well, they, they, the San Francisco 49ers paid close attention. That, that's where they have been hitting in the middle. And they try to bring one blitzes up the A gap. Look at this. So, what do they do? They feel a little pitch outside and they get the corner sealed. And there's Michael Wiley with Flozell Adams downfield leading the way on defensive backs. What a drive again. What a drive. 
for, for the Dallas Cowboys. 11 plays, 6 minutes and 27 seconds, and they've gone 78 yards. They're down to the two-yard line, first and goal. Thank Smith you. and Hambrick in the backfield. I thought I'd help you out on that Thank one. Thank you. Carter, throwing. No good. Fourth behind Troy Hambrick. Behind Troy Hambrick, excuse me. The incompletion. Dallas touchdown drives in this game have been 80 yards, 75 yards, 89 yards, and this drive is 78. You know, San Francisco has to, a little red flag has to pop up right about now when you're heading into the playoffs and, and, and the team's doing this to you. You know, a couple things. One, it's a great wake up call. Two, it's very easy this late in the season when you've established 11 wins already to kind of take a 4 and 10 team lightly. Michael Myers, number 94, in as the fullback. Carter still has it. Gets away from Engelberger. Runs for the corner. He's pulled down at the two. Great play by the middle linebacker, Derek Smith, to save a touchdown. It'll be third and goal for Dallas. Well, Engelberger gets fooled right here. This is embarrassing when, when a cold quarterback ducks you like that. But look at Smith close on that thing. That's great hustle. And good strength. Derek Smith in his fifth year in the league, his first with the 49ers. He has some playoff experience with the Redskins. Something happens to that guy when he gets down against the goal line. Smith and Hambrick in the backfield on third and goal. Again, the throw the to the corner to Galloway. Incomplete. <laughs> I'm telling you, they, they, they can't throw the fade. They cannot throw the fade route. For whatever reason, that, they keep on going back and trying that thing, but Needs it's work. just not there. Needs work. They, they, they worked on it Friday practice a lot, and Quincy Carter wanted more reps at it. It really has to do, I believe, with, with the size of, of the wide receivers and where the, where that <laughs> where maybe the lack of catching the ball. Well, you know what? He was trying to keep his feet in bounds at the end line. Here's a 20-yard field goal try for John Hilbert. And it is through. And the Dallas lead is 13. They have controlled the ball. They have controlled the game. Cowboys leading 27-14. The good neighbors, State Farm is there. By Sprint PCS, the clear alternative to cellular. And by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Be you, nothing's better, Dr. Pepper. Dallas Cowboys with a season high 405 yards offense. Mike Knorr kicks off. Vinny Sutherland at the six. And he is hit. Randall Williams, the wide receiver, grabbed Sutherland and brought him down at the 22 yard line. Hey, Bill. Would you help that young man out? That's, there you go. Look at him. There he is. <laughs> he came He's ready. He's working. He's working to get circled. Out card the NFC. Tampa Bay won last night. Atlanta is losing. If they lose, Tampa Bay will clinch a playoff spot. Giants will have to win the NFC East to get in. Terrell Owens. Off the short pass is wrestled down by Mario Edwards. Dallas has had long drives, four long drives for three touchdowns and a field goal. 28-54 of their total time of possession have been on the scoring drives. Well, how about just the fact that they already have 32 minutes of possession time and we're just starting the fourth quarter? How about that? Kevin Barlow thrown back. They'll spot it at the 31 yard line. It'll bring up a third and three for the 49ers. Let's get an update from JB back in the studio in LA. Hey, Sam and Bill, emotions running high before the game takes place. 
Philadelphia and the Giants. They were talking about, they were upset, the Giants were upset about the Eagles fielding punts on their side of the field. Push them, tell them to get down to your end. Folks are expecting this to be a very physical contest. There is an indication. Back to Sam and Bill. He'll get thrown out before the game starts. Garcia's pass is caught by Terrell Owens for a first down. Remember Jeff Garcia is a great comeback quarterback. He's led four fourth quarter comebacks this season for victories. But he's got a long way to come back now with 850 remaining. That, 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 that game's in, in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. I, I don't know if, if that's that's Giants where you want to get. I don't know if that's where you want to get people fired up at you before the game. They're fired up enough at you before the game. First down at the 36. Garcia being rushed. Screen pass to Barlow. He dropped oh. it. And he almost dropped it into the hands of that win. Oh, they had the right call on. They did. They had. The, they had the right call on because they were. They came. Dallas came with the blitz, and Garcia was backpedaling and threw that ball. Barlow just dropped it. Yeah. And, you know, and, and really, there's, there's there's a lot of growing up that occurs. And Barlow's just a young guy who well, they got a lot of plans for in the future. But there, there's a lot of growing up that occurs between it fell and I dropped it. The rookie out of Pittsburgh has played well. And here's Barlow, and he stopped. Dad win again. Earlier it was Dexter Coakley. Now it's Dad win making every tackle. And the Dallas defense continues to play well. Sam, one of the things talking with Ray Brown, that they wanted to get push on, on the defensive line to get it up into the laps of the linebacker. Well, I, they're not getting any push here. Look, there's no push. Everything is downhill. And there also is 28 Darren Woodson right in the midst of it all. Only 42 yards rushing for San Francisco in the game. And you saw the push Dallas is getting. San Francisco isn't getting the push. Garcia on third down. Nobody open. Ran into the umpire. And the pass is incomplete. Oh, is Garcia upset? You know when you used to play tag as a kid, you always had a home base. You could see, you could touch home base and be free. He's holding on to him. <laughs> Look at the oh. face. Look at the face of the umpire. You know, Garib. He's trying to get out of the way. And Garcia has his hand on him, kind of like he's safe. You, you figure if you got your hand on the umpire, that's home base. You're, <laughs> you're safe there. The 12th defender that time for Dallas. Jason Baker will kick it away. Aiming for the sideline. And it bounces out of bounds at the Dallas 33 yard line. But the Cowboys have the ball. And in the second half, every time they've had it, they've scored. Garcia had enough trouble with the Dallas defense. He got in trouble with the umpire as well. Sweet. And the 49ers will take on the New Orleans Saints. Could be a very important game for San Francisco. Cowboys will finish up in Detroit. Pre-game show at 9 Eastern, 9 Pacific. It's the best there is. From the 33, Emmett Smith, 20th carry of the game. He's got 113 yards rushing. You know, the 49ers right now, they, they, they've got to sell out. And what I mean by sell out, they, they've got to run blitz. They bring Derek Smith. He he comes shooting through him. See, 50? And that's, you're, you're just selling out then. And they, they still, you know, they're they're in there trying to make something happen. Blitzing the linebackers on runs down, trying to blow it up. And Emmett still gets three and a half, four yards. Jim Moore is going to find a way for his team to stop the Cowboys. This is their fourth possession of the second half. The first three have ended up in two touchdowns and a field goal. They gave him at four yards on the last carry. Oh my goodness Here gracious. Again. Oh my goodness. Larry Allen on the power O pulling leading the way. He, he just he takes he takes Julian Peterson and, and lifts him off the ground. Sam take it. Look at this. He lifts him off the ground. I don't know if I've ever seen a display. His feet are off the ground. I don't know if I've ever seen a display of an offensive lineman. You know, you always remember John Hanna they used to talk about. Yeah. This guy, feet off the ground. Emmett cut an inside. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, he, I'll tell you, he, he, he needs to find 73 and stay with him. Follow hey, him. He might break the NFL rushing record today if he stays behind 73. Third and three for Dallas. 
49ers jumped offside. The end around to Rocket Ismail. And he's got a first down anyway. Julian Peterson looked like he jumped offside as the 49ers were showing blitz. Ron Blum talking it over. Outside 98 San Francisco five yards by measurement that's a first down. D.J. Johnson is down on the sidelines. D.J. what's going on. Hey Sam and Bill we have two completely different sidelines down here. Usually it's the 49ers that are confident and upbeat but today they just look confused. They're down they're sitting around and they just don't know what's going on over on the Cowboys sideline. The guys are upbeat. They're happy. They're high fiving each other and I'll tell you what. Don't tell him I said this, but Larry Allen was at, Larry Allen was actually smiling on the sideline. <laughs> Back up to you, Sam. He's allowed that, DJ. Once. Emmett. Short pickup to the 45-yard line, maybe to the 46. But the, now the clock belongs to the Dallas Cowboys with a 13-point lead. What a day for Emmett Smith. With 22 carries, 118 yards. And you came see, into the game. Sorry, Bill, go uh, ahead. You, you see this happen a lot in the NFL for years. I mean, end of December, one team has clinched the playoff spot. One team is fighting for an offseason of something to hang their hat on, and they meet. And it's usually the underdog that turns out winning big. Here's Emmett. No gain this time. Wrapped up. By John Engelberger. And now here's a big third down play for the 49ers. They need to stop right away. They've got to get the ball back. Emmett Smith is 64 yards away from 1,000. The time of possession in this game has just been unbelievable for the Dallas Cowboys. 35 minutes, 25 seconds for. Dallas 19 minutes 15 seconds for San Francisco now it's going to be closer to about 43 minutes in total time of possession when this game is over have to get to the 49ers 45 for a first down the toss to Michael Wiley and he's brought down no gain on the play Jeff Ulbrich made the stop and now the Cowboys forced to punt and the 49ers use a timeout. Their first timeout of the second half. Dallas with a 13 point lead. 49ers will get the ball with time short. Mariucci, Steve Mariucci talking to, talking to, to the special teams coach Bruce DeHaven, talking about whether they should go for it or not. Walking up and down the sidelines. Oh, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Bruce DeHaven, after conferring with Mariucci, jogged out on the field a little bit. See, this would usually be a, a block formation. When you look and you only have one guy outside, look at the gunners. Only only one here and one there, and everybody's stacked in there. That usually means they're coming after you. Mike and Norris had two block this season. Good snap. Nor gets it away. Good protection. Ball bounces, takes a Dallas bounce, and is down at the 15-yard line. Four minutes remaining. Can Jeff Garcia find a way to pull it out? And the 49ers, no huddle offense, come to the line of scrimmage. Off a of first down, Garcia 18 for 27 in the game, 180 yards. Short drop, pump fake, going deep. Way down for Terrell Owens. He's there. He's got it. He's out of bounds at the Dallas 27. He beat Juan Hawthorne on the play. 37-yard gain on the play. Again, watch. They've been picking on Juan Hawthorne a little bit this whole game. Just a little inside move. Hawthorne bit on it, and Owens just right by him. Nothing fancy about that. Just Dwan Hawthorne is just bitten on it on little subtle things yes. all day long. Remember the, the touchdown in the end zone to J.J. Stokes. For Dallas, Byron Frisch, number 90, is in at defensive end. 
First and ten at the 27. Three wide receivers in. Garcia throwing for the end zone, and it is batted away by Pat Dennis, intended for J.J. Stokes. We'll check out what's going on in Green Bay with J.B. He's got it. Sam, you gave the score. Here's the visual embellishment. Take a look at Spurgeon Went Only 5 of 17 for 74 yards. 47 right here to the tight end. Byron Chamberlain and Minnesota's on top, 13 to 10. Time permitting, we'll take you to that contest. We'll take you back to Sam Rosen and Bill Mars. Thanks, J.B. Here it's Dallas beating San Francisco. Virgin Wynn has the keys to the car now. This is Denny <laughs> Green always says. He's got the keys. Handoff inside to Garrison Hurst. Takes it down to the 22-yard line. With the clock running. And San Francisco no huddle. They have two timeouts remaining. They've got to get to the 17 for a first down. Garcia. Pull down. Dead win. What a play. He threw the ball as he was going down. It's ruled incomplete. He was outside the pocket, says referee Ron Blum. This is a blitz. Watch 59. Watch him shoot in here fast. Run a little stunt to track the block of the guard, and it leaves an open B gap that that win runs through. And he closes in on Garcia quick. Here, here's the ball game right here. Fourth and four. 49ers seven for 13 on fourth down tries this season. They've got to get to the 17 for a first down. Garcia started a run, throws complete to the tight end Eric Johnson. It's a first down at the 13 yard line. Clutch throw and catch. They spotted it to 12. 240 remaining. They're saving all the timeouts. First to the five yard line. And now a timeout. They have one remaining. The Dallas Cowboys, their best game of the season. All day long for the Dallas Cowboys. It's been great defense, and Darren Woodson, 28. He's been all over the place. They bring him on blitzes. They bring him up eight men in a box. They have a man-to-man -man coverage on wide receivers in the slot. Every time there's been a big play, 28 has been around for the Dallas Cowboys. He lines up inside, outside. They line him up on a slot, man-to-man. -man. The whole defense works around 28, Darren Woodson. And in this defense, he is John Lynch. Just a little bit more athletic because they put him in the slot against the wide receivers. But he is everywhere. He has really played well. The entire defense has been inspired. Great effort. They wanted the respect, and this was a test for them to see if that number two ranking was really true. And they've shown that it is true. They've as, done a great job. As well as they've played all day, they really need to capitalize on these next series of events yeah. right here because San Francisco has had that niche all year of coming back and taking games into overtime. Second and three at the five yard line. Garcia, the fade into the corner for Owens. Incomplete. Pat Dennis covering on the play. They like Pat Dennis. They picked him up during the season off waivers. Well, what they like about him is his size. Pat Dennis is six foot, about 220 pounds, and he matches up well against the big defenders. There's, see that little shove right there? And that's before the ball was thrown. It was under five yards, so that was legal. That disrupted the timing of that fade route. Now remember that that's that's what they were attacking before with Juan Hawthorne. They got him on waivers last season from Kansas City. Here's third and three. Streets in motion. Garcia looking, throwing, and it's better away from Owens. George Teague letting them know about it too. There's the matchup. The two combatants from the incident on the star last season. And Teague batted the touchdown try away. One thing they say about George Teague, who's been around this league a long time, is he's an incredibly smart player. Mike Zimmer feels that he has two of the smartest safeties in the league. And 
that's part of the reason in this cover two defense they played so extremely well against the pass is because of the smarts of the two safeties. And once again, here's the ball game on fourth and three. Can the Cowboys stop the 49ers? Garcia, nobody open. Looking, throwing, incomplete. Dallas will win. The Cowboys stop the 49ers on the five yard line. Look at the coverage downfield, Sam. Everybody is matched up. Owens can't shake free. Look at Stokes. Mario Edwards has him tied up. Underneath, there's Eric Johnson tied up. No place to go. Garcia tried to pull the Garcia magic and keep creative and keep the play alive. But as the, the receivers stopped moving, they were covered. There was no time, and Garcia had to throw it away. The Cowboys defense made a statement today. 49ers. Playoff bound. 11 and 3 coming in. Winners of seven of their last eight. Shut down by the Dallas Cowboys. Here's Emmett Smith. Takes it outside. Gets a couple of yards up to the eight yard line. You want a timeout? Jason Webster. They're going to make him run another play now. before that two minute warning. And that's the final timeout for the 49ers. They need a miracle here. Down by 13. And they need that defense to do something it hasn't done all game, and that's to stop the run. It's New Year's Eve right now for the Dallas Cowboys. Well, it is New Year's because that's what they're aiming towards, the yeah. new year. That's all they really have to look forward to. And that's what they're playing for. Something to get them through the offseason. Witherspoon and Smith in the backfield. Emmett. Stopped. Up at the nine yard line and we have reached the two minute warning. Two minutes to go in the game. The Dallas Cowboys looking for the big upset over Jeff Garcia and the 49ers. Some player. Cowboys. Third down have to get to the 15 for a first down. Emmett Smith tripped up, falls forward to the 13. Get another update from Green Bay. JB, what's going on? Well, Green Bay trying to keep their division hopes alive here. Take a look at Armand Green stepping nicely, four yards to pay dirt to put Green Bay back on top by four in the fourth. Time permitting, Sam, we'll take you guys there. Back to Sam Rosen and Bill Moss. Thanks, JB, but Chicago is three minutes away from clinching the NFC Central. They lead Detroit 17 to nothing. Emmett Smith, who hurt his wrist early in the game, shaken up again on that last play. 26 carries, 126 yards. Emmett smiling. He's had a big day. He, he's smiling because you think of all the hits he's taken, all the nicks and injuries he's had. The trainer probably asked him, do you think you can go? And we just laughed. Uh, <laughs> just, you think I can go? Heck, I've been going for 12 years, and I'm going to be back for 13. Dallas has called a timeout. Emmett is 56 yards away from his 11th consecutive 1,000-yard season. And he continues to close in on Walter Payton for the all-time career rushing record. Mike Anor standing in his own end zone, ready for his fourth punt of the game. 49ers will go all out to block it. Here they come, and the kick is blocked. The 49ers got the block and have the ball. Inside the Dallas five third block of a Mike Nor punt this season right up the gut Watch that Tampa Bay game last night. Look at the same thing right there right there right up the gut. What an opening They did two little stunt Jackson right up the middle Terry Jackson Wow
first and goal, 49ers inside the five. Three wide receivers in. Garrison Hurst in the backfield. It's Hurst, and he stopped. Around the two-yard line, 49ers are out of timeouts. They've got to put it in the end zone right away. 50 seconds remaining in the game. They spot it at the three. Garcia for Owens. Bet it down by Pat Dennis. Boy, Dennis has had a good game. Yeah, and Owens is and Owens is really upset. Dennis had his hands all over the inside the shirt, the collar, if you will, of Terrell Owens. Watch the left hand, right hand, and he keeps the left hand inside on him while the ball was in the air. That's the thing. It was the ball was in the air while his hands were still on him. And Terrell Owens, a little bit fr more frustration than anything else from not being able to get that fade pattern down there. Matt Willing has replaced Ray Brown at left guard. Garcia fires. Touchdown, J.J. Stokes. His second of the game. The lead is now seven. That was just the old crossing route where down here they, they, they try to pick you. This is this is the 49ers pick pick plays what they ran down there and that gave the separation for Stokes. St. Louis has defeated Indianapolis 42 to 17. The Rams are the NFC Western Division champions. So the 49ers will be a wild card team. Extra point by Jose Cortez is good. 39 seconds remaining. The lead is six. Garcia's second touchdown pass of the game to J.J. Stokes. And his 28th touchdown pass of the season. So now the special teams take over, Bill. Joe Avisano's out on the field. Yeah. There, there, there's Joe. He's out, he's out on the field getting his guys ready. He knows what's coming. Gets the all-hands team out there. That's it. 49ers they need their speed team out there get the ball they've got to find a way to recover the ball and get into the end zone you need some guys that can blow some stuff up is what you need interesting thing when you, when you look at, at Dallas when you look at their their hands team look at their hands team heck, heck it's mostly defensive guys you, know, you got the corners out there you got you got Woodson right. Coakley the defensive guys are usually the guys who can't catch the ball. <laughs> I mean, where, where, where's the receiver? Where the wide receivers? Where's, where, where's Galloway? Where are where's the running backs? Yeah. Well, Hambrick's out there. But it's mostly defensive guys. Cortez lines it up. 49ers shift to the right. And the kick way up in the air, and it's batted down, and it's recovered by the Cowboys. Well, 49ers had a chance at that too. Big chance. They have the ball and they'll have the win. The Dallas Cowboys playing for pride and respect. And they've earned both today. Watch how high this ball's in the air. Ooh, Streets just uh, missed. He, had to, he, he could have pulled that in. And Michael Wiley. One of the men grabbing at it. Bounced on the ground, yeah. still loose. Hey, Michael Wiley's one that ended up with it. I think so. The kneel down by Quincy Carter, and the Dallas Cowboys win their fifth game of the season. Payback for the humiliating defeat last year to the 49ers here. They defeat the playoff bound San Francisco 49ers 27 to 21. Emmett Smith with his fourth 100 yard game of the season. The 74th of his career and Quincy Carter with a big game of 15 for 25 241 yards. Cowboys win it. They're 5 and 10, 49ers 11 and 4. For Bill Moss, this is Sam Rosen. Now to Green Bay, to Pat Summerall and John Madden.